Yes, guys, how is everyone? Um, I've just done, I'm not going to lie, I've just done a 12 minute video um, and I wasn't recording. So that's good. I, think, I just didn't click record. Oh, jeez. Anyway, it's what it is, mate. Let me move. Anyway, I'm in a rush. I've got to go football very soon. But anyway, Diogo Montiero, Montiero, Montiero. We'll see. Either or. From, where's he come from again? From Servet. Young man, young Portuguese centre back from Servet. Interesting one for me. Obviously, straight off the bat, you're thinking with Diego going, you know, is it like for like? Is it this kind of upgrading of, you know, this Diego at his peak now? We're not really impressed this year. He's not done much. It's not been great. Um, moving him on, freeing up a space for this young guy to come through and learn from Korkvoba Cooper, for example. Are we do using it as that. Is he straight up a youth prospect that will be here in the next two to three years? Or is it someone that can genuinely step up and be that guy on the bench for Leeds United? Um, it's an interesting one. Obviously, it's been linked for a few weeks now, hasn't it? Um, obviously, we couldn't sign him, I think, until he, until he turned 18. And he turned 18 two days ago, which is why we're doing it now. It's just interesting timing. Um, and, and his path's interesting to me. The way in which he's sort of diverted away from playing in the top European youth sides. And he went to his Courage Youth in 2017 um, in in Switzerland, which is where he stayed now. He's gone to Sovet. He went there in 2020. Been there now for a few years. Now he's ready to step up. It's an interesting one. It's an interesting one. It's, it's similar to the, 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 the kind of mould of Nyonto in the sense that Nyonto left this top European youth side in Milan to get first team exposure at a young age in a lesser league but still one where at a 16 17 year old you're going to be exposed to a lot of you know football like full-time grown-up football um and this is similar to this guy he's not made as much appearances as Nyonto but he is still younger than Nyonto is what is what Nyonto would have been this time last year he's just turned 18 um so is he are we now looking in a different type of market because all these top European talents naturally play for the top academies, you know, your Ajax, your Bayern Munichs, your Dortmunds, um, all those stuff. Sorry, I've got an itchy nose. But are we now looking at these different... We've seen this of success in Ontos. Are we now looking at other, other areas of youth... I don't know why I keep doing that. <laughs> are we now looking at other areas of youth, youth potential in Europe? Because there is more than just the top five European leagues. And this is testament of that. Who is he? Let's have a look, shall we? Here he is. I don't know. Just an ad there. But yeah, Diego, it's Montiero. 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 Uh, 1884. Very tall guy. Centre back, right footed. Look, yeah, it's, it's not much on him. It's a very young guy. There's not much on his past. Uh, there's probably just a few, a few articles I can find. But until that, this is just what we've got. Centre back, 500 value, whatever. Yeah. But what I've got from him here, obviously this is his youth, he's played a lot in Portugal, which is good, working his way up with the ages, so he's clearly progressing well. Um, you, you, again, Portugal's youth system is insane, right? But that's just it, basically, on Transfer Max. Um, and it, now, now it's down to what I've seen. I've seen some clips from YouTube. I've obviously never watched him. I don't know who he is. Um but it excites me what I've seen because what I see is a young player who looks, and there is a look is important, he looks big, he looks imposed, and he looks calm, and he looks very assured of what he is as a player. He gets the ball, his vision is clear, he knows the pass straight away, the pass. For me, I always love a pass that's pinged in. You know, the technique is good, he looks confident, he looks calm under the ball, and he looks quick. And this is what I mean, these are all kind of Hallmarks of what we want in this system as a player, as a centre back, someone that's calm on the ball, calm in tight spaces, assured of themselves, doesn't make silly mistakes. Seemingly, yeah, he could. He's a young guy, but you know what I mean. Um, looks calm with a bit of pace as well. For when we get, do get exposed at the back, that recovery pace is vital, and we've not got that. And this is what I mean. This 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 guy kind of fits that mould of that. So I'm thinking to myself, is he higher up in the pecking order than we might think? I'm going to say no, same with Nyonto. I'm going to say no, just because he's, he's only played nine senior 
games this season. Um, he's not ex- Premier League's a different animal. However, I do think he is a player who the club really backs highly as someone who could easily fit that mould maybe next season or the season after, or even if he does really well this year and we have some injuries and we need that cover as a player there who can step in. It's interesting because you, you look at the guys, in the, the centre-backs in our youth academy, who are all very talented young guys. I watched them, very good, um, very good player, very good players, but they don't look Premier League ready yet. The structure's still a little small, they're not as wide, they're not as bulky, they don't look as assured. He does, he looks levels above in the clips I've seen. And the clips I've seen of him are in the Swiss League and playing in the youth systems with players his age, and he just looks menacing as a prospect, as a as a physical being, you know. Um, so it's interesting. It is an interesting one, and I'm looking forward to it. But are, are we going to do something? With Laurent Renner going? Are we going to fill that void? Who's going to fill that void? Because it's a number and it's a body, right? And when you've got one less centre back, that is one less centre back, regardless of what you think of his ability, it's a less centre back. And that is something you have to fill in. Because we've seen Cooper injured, you know, often. If you have some keeps getting little, little, little injuries, doesn't he? Then you're looking a bit short with Hilda going, you know, you're looking a little short in there now with Lorente gone. What do you guys think? I'm interested to see it. How does he progress? He might have two or three weeks in the youth and he might need to come up. He might need to sit on the bench. I don't know. Maybe he'll be in the youth for a season. Good. Let him progress, let him build. It's an interesting one for me. Um... Got one article I could find, and I've seen this quote going around just really quickly. It's gone. Um, is um, this one down here from Rondo, Rondo, who is a football scout, dubbing him a beast in the making. And that's what I got from him. That's the vibe I kind of got when I was watching him um, as this kind of big. It kind of gave me Ruben R- R- Diaz vibes. I know, obviously, is <laughs> is is Portuguese. But I kind of got them vibes from him watching him. The way he looks at the game, the way he moved as well. Not as big as him, obviously, but still for his age, a very a big guy, a big character. So there's a lot to this that really excites me, similar to Nyonto. And I am excited by it. I think it's going to be really good. So I'll just quickly do this thing. He was born in Switzerland. Uh, Montero was born in Switzerland, but has represented Portugal over 30 times at youth level. The defender started out at Etiel Coiro I'll sing it. Yeah, he was born in Switzerland, but he's represented Portugal 30 times at youth level. He started out at whoever this is, go away ads, um, before he put up their youth system at top flight. Yeah, we know about, I've talked about this. He was handing his own 21 debut at just 15. Wow. Now that's a talent. At just 15. Fair play. And what are all these ads? I'm getting off this. You can you can look at my face. Yeah, just 15. Um. He also helped to guide the I can't speak. He also helped to guide the under eight teams to silverware and the cup. Nice. Came off the bench two one of a Basel. This is interesting. So this uh, Montiero also became the youngest defender ever to play in a Super League match and was added a further six appearances across all competitions for the first team this term. Very good. That's very impressive. Yeah, he's done stuff at youth level as well with the Portugal side. Good player, good talent. Clearly, at a young level, being exposed to first-team football is very impressive. You don't usually see it at this stature. It doesn't matter what league you're in. Men's football is totally different to youth for team. And the Swiss League is growing. It's a good league, and it's where Nyonto came from. So for me, I'm excited. I can't wait for this. Am I going to do a McKinney video? Probably not. You know, I'll do a video, but I won't go in depth. I'll talk about how you can fit the system and talk about how happy I am. But everyone knows him. Everyone, This information's out there. Everyone knows all about him. So, but yeah. Thanks for support. I appreciate it. Please leave a like. Uh, yeah. Look forward to this. Watch this space. Big player. Peace.